Hey guys, it's Latana, the Lady Print Boss. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a halftone fade out of text real quick and easy in Corel Draw in just a couple of minutes. I'm just going to go in and just type in the word halftone. And let's see here, we'll go ahead and make it to the size that I want it to be. And then we can go up top and find a nice font to put it in. I like to do my halftone uh, text or whatever in a nice large font. So this should work for us. Now the key to doing this, you can normally make a halftone font and then you'd have to go in and separate it. Uh, using separation software, but I'm going to show you how to do this using 100% color values to create your halftone effect um, and have it automatically separated. So we're going to go in at the bottom here and click on our fountain fill. And in the fountain fill, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that you have a lot of cool effects that are down here. Now I'm going to show you one. If you click on the effect, you can click here and that will apply it and it will download. If it's an effect that you really, really like, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I am running my recorder and so I'm going to go in and pull one that I know that I already have. Um, download it onto my personal computer. So let's say this one and I'm going to show you. Go here and apply the effect and there's the effect. You can also favorite that. You can give it a share or if this little button here will add. Um, it's going to edit the properties now, but if this was not already saved to my um, if it was not already saved, I would have this button would say more options and under the more options instead of these two, it would say save to my favorites. OK, so I'm just going to show you guys that before we continue on. Uh, this is a quick way to create a halftone effect. Now I'm going to show you. When we go over to print this effect, what happens if you just do a basic halftone effect? And I don't know what color values this is. It's coming up as CMYK. But let's go over here. And what we want is solid colors. So let's go here and show you. If we went to print this effect, what would happen? And I'm just going to put this on. Really doesn't matter for what we're doing. Make that landscape. OK, so let's go here into the separations in Corel Draw. When you go into separations, you'll notice what you have here is your CMYK steps. OK, CMYK is fine if you're trying to print this logo as a CMYK print. But what we're talking about here is converting this over to where we can do spot color separations. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm just going to click off of that. And. went into the transition that we want. OK, so what we want to do is I'm just going to turn this this way. Now you can bring this fade different to different positions, however you want, whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. OK, so I'm going to just click on here and this is going to highlight this front. Now, right now I'm in my solid Pantone uh, colors. 
So what I want to do is, let's say I want to take that from a kind of a gold effect and on this one, because I want to do a two-toned two effect instead of white, we're going to go into another tone. See how we have just a little tone there. Now here in the middle, if I click on this little arrow, or anywhere on here for a fact, um, I'll come up with a new color. And that new color, I just want to add a splash of white right there. Now I can take that and I can move that back. I can move that forth, do different things with it can come in here and bring that up to where I have barely any white there. See that? Now I can also go in here and do another click and add in anything else that I want to add in there. If I want to go in and do add in some other colors just to kind of show you different type of effect that different effects that you can do in here you can also play with this knob position you can bring the knob back down you could bring the knot up. Okay. Another thing that you can do is you have these postscript options. Under postscript, you can define your LPI for printing this out in half tones uh, for the size of your dot. You can define that over here if you'd like. And you can define the angle. Let's do 22 and a half. Okay. You can also change this blend into a circular blend and do different types of effects with the blend. I happen to like that one. You can also overprint your fill. Now, when you overprint your fill, what that means is that. The bottom color, the top color is going to overprint, which is going to overprint the bottom color. So you never see the bottom color when you're printing. That helps you if you're doing a white print and you're printing a color on top of it. So I'm going to click OK. Now we've got this logo. And when you select the toolbox, the tool, and put the dropper tool over it, it's going to show it to you as RGB. But we selected this in Pantone colors. Uh, or any color palette that's a, that's 100% RGB. And you'll be fine. I'm sorry, that's 100% of the color value. Whether it be RGB, uh, regardless of the color palette that you're using. Go in and change the layout and show you separations that we have. We're going to go here. We're going to print separations. And now if we go to our separations palette, you will see instead of CMYK, you now have all of those solid colors that are spot colors, but in a halftone set. And that, guys, is how you create your halftone separations. I do have uh, RGB palettes and spot color palettes. If you look here, this is a... If I hover over, you'll see this is the Gildan palette, uh, which will change, which has all of the Gildan t-shirt colors. We also have a Union Ink palette, and which is all of the Union inks for screen printing. 
all of those colors and 100% RGB colors uh, here in the palettes. Alrighty guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you create your halftone effects for screen printing. And uh, hit that subscribe and notification button. And I will see you guys in the next video.